Good morning, this is Christian Duke from strengthetics.com. I'm making this video in response to my good friend Jerry Branham's post on Facebook pertaining to a video titled The Clueless Bodybuilder. The Clueless Bodybuilder is a video that's gone viral. It's been out for about seven or eight years and it was recorded by legendary fitness industry videographer Mike Pulsinella. Mike Pulsinella is a guy that works with all the big supplement companies, he covers shows, he does a lot of the DVDs that you see for sale from the top names in the sport of bodybuilding. He's a great videographer, has a lot of talent. However, when he released this video on YouTube, The Clueless Competitor, I feel that he did a huge disservice to the fitness industry, a huge disservice to the man that he featured, and I think he ends up looking like an asshole. Basically, there are a lot of people that fit the term The Clueless Competitor. A lot of times, people are very quick to judge. They think that they're people that just want attention, that don't show respect to the sport or to the stage, and um, that may be true. But a lot of times people that quote unquote look like crap on stage are there for a different reason than to disrespect the stage, the sport, or the fans. For example, there are people that getting on stage is their crowning achievement. Again, you might have someone that weighs 400 pounds, that has high blood pressure, might, might have even had a stroke. Uh, the family is just at their wits end, you know, seeing someone they love so much so overweight and thinking it's only going to be a question of time until we lose this person but then they find fitness and they go to the gym and they do cardio and they eat right and they have their you know their protein shake bottle and they go everywhere with it and they have their gallon jug of water and they really fall in love with fitness and suddenly all the fat starts to come off the blood pressure starts to normalize their family relationships improve there's hope and it's all because of fitness and so then that person that may weigh you know 40, 50, 60 pounds extra, but that's lost 200 pounds, gets on stage not as a disrespect to the sport, but as a thank you, as a validation, as a crowning achievement, but yet their body, quote unquote, looks like crap. So <clears throat> I think it's really, I really think it, it's important not to jump to judgment. Unfortunately, there are people, like I said earlier, that do get on stage and that don't give a shit about the sport and that really disrespect the stage and the fans. They are also the coolest competitor. Mike Paulsonello shows a lot of these guys who might fit into this category or might not. But he chose to speak to someone that, in my opinion, was not mentally competent. And that makes Mike Paulsonello look like a bully and a complete asshole. The person that he interviewed, by saying that he was not mentally competent, I'm not saying the person was mentally retarded. I'm not saying the person was insane. What I am saying is I don't believe the person had the mental faculties to assess what was really going on. Mike Pulsanella was not interested in this person's physique, this person's journey. He wasn't following him around to the uh, event with the purpose of having people appreciate his physique. He was following him around to select booths where people were actually making fun of him through facial expressions, through grins, through sometimes just all out laughter. The people that do this at these booths, you know, you're very fortunate that I don't know your name because quite frankly, you're just as bad as Mike. If you have someone in front of you that is clearly not mentally competent and that's being taken advantage of, like Mike Pulsanella did with this person, and you then kick this person or do anything to further humiliate this person, then you too are a bully and a piece of garbage. Uh, I was going to say a piece of shit, but I chose piece of garbage. You're a piece of garbage and a piece of shit uh, simultaneously. So the reality of it is, is that you know, about a month and a half ago, I had this petition ready and I had this video ready to do, not this one, but one like it. And I just didn't do it because in the fitness industry, it's important not to burn bridges. And I have the tendency to just lash out at people, you know, with no moral compass. And sometimes that gets me in trouble. I've lost sponsors because of it and so on and so forth. But it's important to really, you know, stand your ground. And this opportunity, Jerry Branham did it for me. Jerry Branham went out there and said, what the fuck is this? And he didn't say that because, you know, he's an educated person. But <laughs> I was like, what is this? And, um, you know, a lot of the issues that he had with the video, I share. And, you know, just to give you an idea, this video has gone viral. It's been out for like seven or eight years. And a lot of people have copied it and re-uploaded it to their channel. So to get the actual number of hits down, I think is going to be quite tedious. But on Mike Pulsanella's official channel, the video right now has 394,884 views. For someone that's out there making videos for the top bodybuilders, working with the supplement companies, you know, possibly working with the magazines, and that holds himself out as being, you know, one of the best in the industry. To make a video like this, I think speaks so poorly of you, Mike, honestly. 
And honestly, I don't even know if a petition or an article or a post by Jerry Branham or a video by Christian Duke is going to get you to pull it down. You may say it's free speech. You may say it's art. You may say art can't be defined. But at the end of the day, what it shows is you and a bunch of shallow, cold people working at the expo bullying and taking advantage of a mentally incompetent man. And quite frankly, that is absolutely revolting. And you should be ashamed of yourself to the tenth power. I mean, really, it's it's it, it's that bad. For Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thank you, Jerry, for giving me the balls to do something I should have done a month and a half ago.